Oh, hi, Stampers. Thanks so much for joining me today. This is Cheryl from startaststamper.stampinup.net, or you can follow me over at my blog at startaststamper.blogspot.com. Here's a project I wanted to share with you today. It is a cute little snowman soup container that holds your cocoa. And then I picked these little marshmallows up just at Oriental Trading. I like the fact that they were already pre-packaged and you don't have to worry about, you know, germs or anything like that. They're cute. So let me share with you what we will need. Grab our scoreboard here. <clears throat> oh, where'd I put it? Here it is. We're going to be stamping with the Snowman Season um, stamp set. And here's our piece of paper. There it is. I couldn't find my bone folder. Okay. So our piece of paper is cut at eight and a half by five inches. And on the five inch side, we'll stick this up here and we'll score it at a half of an inch. I always put an S. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I put an S and a C. And I always try to make sure that my dark one is on the bottom because that's your cutting blade and your score which is a gray one at the top and that way I don't have too many accidents <laughs> uh, I'm forever messing up but okay back to our project here score half an inch then we're gonna turn it <clears throat> then we're gonna score again at half of an inch and slide it on down to one inch, then four and a half, and five. Okay, so that's it. Half inch, one inch, four and a half, and five. I don't even know if you can see those. On my side of the camera, it's absolutely horrible lighting, so hopefully you can see those. If not, it will be on my blog, all the measurements and everything. Okay, so now we're going to make a little mark for our diagonal cut. Oh, why am I? Oh, there we go. So we're going to flip it over. So it's the back side of our score marks where you have your half inch and your one inch. And you're going to mark at two and a half inches. Okay, so this is the side that we just scored on. We're going to flip it over and put a tick mark at two and a half. Then you're going to line that up with the first score mark closest to the top of the paper. You're going to put that in the track right here, and then your tick mark right up here. Go ahead and close that and cut that so you get your nice little curved cut right there. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, let's do some stamping. So, of course, I'm just going to use my Memento Black ink. Make sure it's nice and inked up. Just kind of center it wherever you want to put it on there. This is just a super quick, quick, quick project. You can add so many more details to it, but I just wanted to make a bunch of these up for my son's um, class at school, so we're just making it simple. I'm using pumpkin pie for the nose, um, shaded spruce, We'll add a little bit of color here to our little Charlie Brown tree. I love this little tree. He's so cute. And real red. Give kind of a candy cane look to the snowman scarf. Isn't that cute? 
And I'm just using the fine tip to color most of these, except for the top of the hat, I like to use the fatter tip. So cute, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so now we'll go ahead and fold all of our score marks. Go ahead and use your bone folder to really set in that crease. That way it gives it nice crisp box, you know, with nice crisp corners. Okay, so everything is folded here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut right here in the center. So you got that little flap. Then you're going to cut these and then cut the first little tab off. Okay, so it looks like that. <clears throat> okay, I'm just using my tear and tape. You can use liquid glue though if you like. I just thought for the video it'd be a little bit easier. So on the side of your snowman, you're going to put tape on the very last tab. Then on, on the same side as the snowman, you're going to put it on the inside. Whoops. There we go. You know, you always get tangled up when you're going to do a video or something. <laughs> okay. There we go. One nice thing when you are doing this, when you use the liquid glue, you have a little bit more play. So, you got to really make sure when you're using any kind of tape that you're really getting it set up correctly because you can't move it around once you got it stuck on there. There! Hopefully I got sit <laughs> kept it in the video guys I'm sorry in, in the camera screen I was trying to put it closer to <laughs> me to make sure I got it lined up there. There! Isn't that cute? And then you just go ahead and pop in your cute little cocoa. I mean, what kids don't like this? Or adults, for that matter. And I absolutely love the fact that you can get these from Oriental Trading. They're already packaged. I, I really, really like that. Because during this day and age with, you know, everybody worried about viruses and whatnot, it's nice not to have to worry about putting on, you know, five layers of gloves and to keep every you know the food sanitized or clean but anyways that's our project not cute I absolutely love this if you have any questions let me know I am going to post this over at my blog at stardustamper.blogspot.com if you like it can you please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe so you can check out all my videos have a great day happy stamping